What's up guys? Hello and welcome to another Maker Monday. So it's been a while. Sorry guys, it's just it's been a while to get ready to make one of these. It's I've just had so much stuff going on. Uh, things going on the weekend. I have I've had graduations. I've had work stuff. I've had remodeling stuff going on in my house. It's actually been kind of crazy. It's been very difficult to get a movie out every week. So uh, I apologize for that. But uh, we're hopefully going to get back into the schedule. Well, as we normally do on Maker Monday, those of you that might be just now tuning in, or maybe this is the first Maker Monday you're in, what we'd like to do here is we like to go over my Reddit page here. Uh, basically, I've got a Reddit page, link down in the description, and I like to post different things I find interesting on Reddit. I follow a lot of different uh different electronics uh, themed uh, Reddit pages and I post different things I find is interesting or particularly funny or whatever that we might find that's related to the world of electronics as well as it doubles for any of my viewers any of you guys if you are building something currently or putting uh, together a project or something like that electronics related this gives you a place to post it to let the rest of us see what you're doing but we're going to go through this that way I can see some of the stuff that you guys have done some of the stuff that uh, I want to share with you that maybe you haven't seen because maybe you're not subscribed to reddit yet uh or at least to my reddit page and uh let's go from there so that's what we do so first thing i saw was this augmented reality this actually is pretty cool i've been following this uh reddit page for quite a while uh they post some really neat stuff basically you can see that there is a wind gust meter that actually isn't real that's actually an augmented reality uh wind gust meter and it's actually metering in real time i've been thinking about doing some stuff with this uh doing augmented reality and whatnot and putting like sensors along with it where you have maybe you know temperature sensors or something like that and it will actually make things happen uh in the animations of the augmented reality uh app now going down through here uh one of our one of our good friends uh raz pi pkr uh has been doing some uh, cool videos here um especially the ones where he's been using uh the raspberry pi and the raspberry pi camera and whatnot to do some really cool uh, kind of like video edits, I guess you'd say, which is pretty awesome. This one's kind of fun. It kind of creates a ghost. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Basically, hats off to you. That's pretty cool. Um, I think he's been using, like he was saying here, I've been modifying my graphical user interface, which is Python using the built-in TK uh, INTR, so tkinter library. Uh, those of you that don't know what that is, it's actually uh, pretty cool. It's a, basically a way of writing GUI programs, uh, kind of in the Raspberry Pi, in, in a sense, really, it's kind of like GUI for Linux, essentially, but it's Python-based. So those of you that are uh, good at Python or uh, are very familiar with Python. Let's see, these, I kind of want to go down because he's kind of posted a few posts, uh, uh, our friend here, uh, and uh, about some stuff he done. And basically, he, uh, he hacked... One of the Brian the Robots. And those of you who don't know what that is, uh, Confused.com is like an insurance company. And they have their little mascot, I guess you'd say, kind of like how Geico has the Geico Gecko. They have their little uh, Brian the Robot. And what he's done here, which is actually pretty cool, is uh, basically hacked it, put some stepper motors in it, put a Raspberry Pi Zero in it. Um, in fact, let me back the video up here. Yeah, there's the stepper motors. Uh, put some stepper motors in it. Uh, and like I said, a Raspberry Pi Zero and some other things. So that way he can control this little guy uh, using uh, using either Python scripts or uh, different scripting. And that's kind of the progression that we have here. Here is uh, one of his videos. Or I'll make this bigger. Um, where... He's running a Python script that he's uh, scripted to control the movement of this little guy, and it's actually it's actually pretty cool. Let me see if I can uh, speed this up to where he begins, and it actually reports uh, in here what uh, what it's actually doing. So it's kind of neat. So it's going forward. There he is, and then I think it turns at some point, which is pretty neat. Anyway, worth checking out. That's a pretty cool project. I like that. I like how you got it all put uh, inside the little robot and. Uh, you know, it's not all like botched up. It's actually very well done. He did a very good job uh, cutting that up and then making it run. And then this one, this one's kind of cool. He's got it, uh, got them making a, giving a high five to each other. Yay, high five. So anyway, pretty awesome. I, I enjoy the, uh, the, the hacking of it. That's that really good. It did a great job, like I said, fitting all of that inside there and making it look like it legitimately comes that way. So good job. Good job, man. Some other thing I thought this was kind of cool. This guy basically dumpster dived and built a pie arcade out of just random stuff he found like in a, uh, 
in, in the garbage essentially in the recycling but i thought this was pretty cool he's got like it's like cardboard he's got the gaming controllers he's got the screen you know you, you can't overcomplicate stuff all you need is the screen and raspberry pi and some controllers and that's about it and you can make yeah you can make it out of cardboard just like this guy did this one was kind of cool secret knock detecting door uh but he basically shows you how to build uh a secret knock detecting uh, system where when you knock on the door, you know, like knock, 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 knock or something, it uh, it will actually recognize it and unlock the door. And then I thought this was kind of neat. It was a, a cable organizer uh, that was 3D printed. Basically, you can slide your cables down in there and then that way it isn't just a big pile. I don't know. Well, you can't see it behind me. Well, sort of. You can see some of the cables, the cabling behind me. I, I have that problem as well. I have one of the hangers that you hang cables from. Uh, but I, I, this was actually a pretty brilliant idea so far as keeping track of all of your, like, you know, breadboard uh, cabling. Um, this I thought was quite interesting. Uh, basically, can, yeah, can you control uh, this with an Arduino for a go-kart? Basically, it is a 3D printed, uh, yeah, brushless motor, essentially. And it's actually very fascinating, worth a watch. Uh, this guy is basically wanting to build his own motors for a go-kart. And he ends up 3D printing the housing and everything. And then, of course, adding the windings and the and the magnets and all the different pieces to it to build a his very own brushless motor. Be fascinating to see uh, how strong it really is and everything else. And then I thought this was just fantastic. I love video games. I love old school retro games. And what is more old school retro than Pong? And what is even better than to make it on a simple uh, dot matrix LED display? I thought that was fantastic. All right. So moving on, we've got a refine my home dashboard with forced home under lockdown. <laughs> so basically, uh, this guy went ahead and revamped, which is very nice interface, uh, his uh, basically home assistant uh, interface here. He's got graphs and trending and all kinds of cool stuff. Basically while he was stuck at home, very nicely done. Uh, Arduino based weather station, which I thought was awesome. <laughs> this is just a, this is one of those that's just funny. Uh, hopefully you get it, but basically if the Arduino is wet, it rained. If it is dry, it didn't rain. Uh, if it's warm, then it must've been sunny. <laughs> A good video about uh, micro LED display technology and where it's at right now. This actually is a fantastic video if you guys want to check it out. Um, talking about micro LED technology and basically what they're thinking that maybe there might be glasses one day that are going to be basically the next best thing to an Iron Man HUD. Always check your pin pitch. Oh, I thought this was awesome. This was great. <laughs> yeah, good, good advice. Always check your pin pitch. <laughs> So basically, this is what we would call a dead bug. Uh, I don't know if many of you uh, know what that means, but basically we call it a dead bug. If you take a chip and uh, flip it upside down, it looks like, you know, like a bug with its legs sticking up. And uh, we've I've, I've actually had this happen to me uh, professionally. I've been uh, building circuit boards and you just... I don't know. You read the data sheet wrong or something, something happens and you just, you put the wrong pin pitch. So you got to do something to connect it up. And so we always called it a dead bug. Usually you'd turn the chip upside down and solder the pins one by one with little jumper wires. Like you see here. Uh, let me know down in the description. If you would like to see stuff like that, like some helpful tips on how to rework circuit boards. And then we're back to the last maker Monday. So it's been a while to catch up to everything. But uh, that's all I had for the Reddit side of Maker Monday, which then brings us to the tool of the day. For today's tool of the day, what we're going to be looking at is these cool little, in fact, I have one with me, these cool little organizer boxes. Now, this one is for like uh, SMT resistors, but uh, this company, this aid tech, makes all different sizes of these. All right, so you can take these. And what they look like inside is they just have like a bazillion little doors in them. As you can see, I haven't used all of them yet. I have like resistors up here and I've got capacitors down here is what I've got along with like my really large resistors. So the resistors go down so far, then I've left some space uh, for other ones and then uh, started with my capacitors. You can just lift open these little doors and then you put your stuff in there and they do, they snap really tight i mean it's pretty hard to uh to pop these open so you don't have to worry about accidentally you know spilling tons of resistors everywhere so 
these are fantastic. These little uh, box awls is what they're called. So I would recommend this. This is a great tool to have around for organization and things like that. I'll put some links down in the description where you can find these as well as you get a bonus two for one since we're talking about resistors and stuff another great one is these resistor kits i love these things a thousand pieces okay so 50 values and there's 50 pieces um you can find these in all different things you can find some that are a thousand pieces that have you know 100 values and 10 10 uh, resistors of each you can also find these you can find capacitors inductors pretty much any surface mount equipment you can also find through hole those are some different uh little things for the tool of the day so far as the uh channel goes uh, we're going to be checking out uh, a lot of different things coming. You guys have said that you wanted more Raspberry Pi, more uh, Home Assistant videos. I uh, hope you've been enjoying uh, the one that I just released that is about the uh, whole home audio uh, using Home Assistant and Raspberry Pis. So you ask it. Or, yeah, you asked for it, I'll give it to you. So, anyway, so we're doing that right now. Expect the next one to be this week. Uh, Thursday will be the part two, which we'll finish uh, talking about how to set that whole system up. I've noticed you guys have really had a good response to that. So, make sure and check out the t-shirts down below. Check out uh, uh, the Tindy site. I've got that USB uh, analyzer stick thing that we that we use as well as some micro relays if you need a relay that's really small maybe you need to have a real small package you need a relay to fit in there we got micro relays we've got all kinds of cool stuff in the tindy store it'll be down in the description as well so make sure and subscribe and like and share make sure to ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the additional maker mondays or additional videos that usually come out i try to make it every thursday release uh video thanks again guys and we'll see you next time